Hey guys, Zelonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at my latest post patch tactics. There are a slight variation on the tactics I went 19 and 1 with last weekend. New attacking formation and set of tactics that I've been running for about 10 days or so and I really like them. Hit 19 and 1 last weekend with them. I think they're very fun, very good to use. But Furthermore, obviously, with a new patch actually being live on the new gen consoles now, I've been testing them out, and they still feel very good. As expected, the patch <clears throat> doesn't feel massively different in terms of most of the gameplay, but what I will say is the decent level players that I'm playing against, <clears throat> even more now, AI defend, sad and shouldn't be how the game works, but good players are basically realising you don't really need to manually defend much, because ultimately unless you're very good at switching and manually defending and applying pressure you're probably going to get caught out and make mistakes doing that unless you're very good at it so they just ai defend and when the ai defend you can't really punish it with long shots anyway the finesse shots are good at times and definitely worth going for when you have players like pop pinner for example but at the same time they're still not that consistent travellers on this patch definitely nerfed that is a noticeable difference I would say, um, but yeah, let's get into the tactic. Is the three four one two? So anyone who watches my channel knows, generally speaking, nearly any tactic I use, I have two variations of it. One that's going to be a bit more aggressive, and then one that I start the game out in. That's what I put under the defensive tab. Not that it's a defensive tactic. It's just basically how the game sets it up. So in terms of positions. The cam, you want someone very good on the ball. A five-star weak foot is nice. Five five is obviously great, but I think a five-star weak foot is really useful here. If you can get the finesse shot, that's really good. Finesse shot from here allows them, from especially with a five-star weak foot. Are you sick to death of getting out-teamed on FC24? Want that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. Lots of different angles to be a threat outside the box. And then long ball or incisive pass. Either of those are very nice. So I think Pina, as, um, or Pina, I don't know how to pronounce it. She's a very good value. One of the best value SPCs we've had this year. I um, don't think she's like some top, top tier card. But for 150k, top tier value. She has incisive pass finesse. She's perfect in the cam roll. For the wingers, you need a lot of pace. Um, if you can get a winger who's got good defending and high high work rates, that would be perfect, but there's not many of them at all. Davies high medium does the job really well, though. Mbappe doesn't track back as much, but he's an absolute outlet out wide. If they can shoot, dribble, that is a big benefit as well. They're kind of like fullbacks, though. Um, the forwards have good play styles. Finesse is nice, first touch. Rapid quick step, technical, things like that. Um, <clears throat> Rooney, really good card though. Even though the Traveller got nerfed, Traveller playstyle doesn't do a lot. But for me, the two strikes up front, you want pace, good shooting, good dribbling, just all the good stuff that the uh, strikers should have. Midfielders, I want at least one of these who's very good going forward. That for me is Chavi, five star weak foot, gold technical, gold long ball. And ideally, both midfielders have long ball. Long ball from deep. Allows you just at times to catch people off guard. They don't expect to. You can play crazy through balls. You can get some very easy goals and just some nice creative play with the long ball play style. Kimmich and Chevy have absolutely devastated that Kimmich and Bayern lost that first game. I thought it was almost a bank of that Bayern getting through that game. They should still get through only a one goal deficit and they're at home next. But he's already lost one potential upgrade. That's pretty frustrating because this card, Kimmich already... He is very, very good. The fact that he's already very good and he's missing out on an upgrade is a shame because it could have been an absolutely outrageous card. That's already lost quite a bit of potential. And um, Bayern under two shall just don't look the best of this. I'm not too confident thinking about that. They're going to go really far in the Champions League. Anyway, good defending, box to box, passing play styles. That's what I want in midfield. If they can shoot like Xavi and have five star weak foot, that is a plus. Outside centre-backs need to be fairly fast. Saliba and Luke but have that. Um, ball playing centre-backs really like as well. This formation is crazy in terms of the attacking pads it have. You can play all over the pitch. So players with pinged pass, long ball, 
who can just out of nowhere turn defence into attack, catch people out when they make any mistake. It's brilliant, this formation has options all over. In terms of the tactics, 40 width, 55 depth. I use that generally, and then 40, 71 for my more attacking on most formations. I use it. it works. Don't know, just for me, it works really well. I do, though, go a bit higher width in this. I want to uh, basically force teams to defend out wide against me. And then when they leave men out wide, I've got a cam and two strikes in the middle, cuts them open through the middle with that triangle. The instructions, stay central, stay forward on pop. Now, this is key here. To make this a really tough formation to break down defensively, I have a strike with high defensive work. Both pop and Rooney do. But when you have one with high defensive work rate and you put them on comeback on defense, they drop into the midfield a lot like Rooney genuinely did in real life. It makes a big difference. Pina often is further forward than Rooney unless I keep the ball for quite a while. Rooney will play up front properly when you get in possession, but someone with relentless, <clears throat> good stamina, high defensive work rate, and come back on defense will help out a lot. And honestly, this makes this formation so much better defensive than it used to be because the comeback on defense work rate actually seems to do something this year. Uh, come back, stay wide, getting behind on both wingers. So it means they are defending, but the same wide, making rooms behind to stretch teams out. Stay back while attacking cover center on your more defensive-minded midfielder. You don't want this formation to be so gung-ho, so attacking that you just get caught out. Balanced cover center on the other one, and then my center backs and keeper left on default. For a more attacking one, press after possession loss, 71 depth. I do lower the whip slightly just to be a bit more central. Then for the attacking, the only difference really <coughs> is Rooney's on basic instead of um, come back. I don't want him to be quite as defensive here. And then I have uh, Mbappe on basic instead of come back. So Mbappe is a little bit more attacking. Uh, I have them on getting to the box in this one a little bit more aggressive in general. So nothing too massively different there. But yeah, really fun formation, brilliant going forward. Defensively, make sure you have that striker that comes back. But it, honestly, it does work really well. We'll have a quick look at the new season stuff before we finish. Mascot Madness, apparently. Let's go. Um, we'll look at some of the key stuff. There's quite a few ones here. <laughs> quite funny, some of these. Probably won't be a Villa one, sadly. Uh, this Merlin looks pretty good, obviously. Free, free, whip pass, other play styles, pretty good. Not bad on the ball, solid defended, good stamina. Yeah, pretty good for free. Some okay packs. Musa, 90 pace. Milan's pretty good. Brilliant play style there. Really fast. Good play styles in general. Very good card. Just if he just needs four star weak foot, really. Um Porto's uh and Benfica. Some interesting mascots here. They should have mascots at the start of the trust. So one of three future stars. Don't know what the half means. 85 times 7, not bad. 85 plus, 84 times 4. 85 times 10 or 87 times 4. I'd go for the 87 probably. You can already see at the end there, a Lewis Figo. Um, Thunderstruck Figo. It should be a better card at this point of the game. This is, by the time you can get this in, what, three weeks? It's going to be March. That card came out four months ago and was fairly mid within that promo itself. Um, that's not it, in my opinion. A midvert card from a promo that came out four months ago. Do better, EA. Um, the packs, though, as always, not bad. EA want you to go for the packs because they can rig the packs to be awful. There you go. appreciate you guys watching the video. As always, keep it spicy. I do hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.